previously on the Unreal House Pitches of Eastwick. Bitching about Beverly's eating disorder has really lost its spark. The irony is that Beverly is attending a dinner party where the expected activity is eating. I hope you don't mind, but I've invited Victoria along tonight to meet everyone. She marries for money. Everyone's heard the rumors about Gabriel being poor and homeless. So Gabriel gives me this uh, Burberry scarf. Let me tell you, the scarf was not Burberry. We're all here now. So if you'd like to follow me, we can begin dinner. All you single ladies, keep your eyes off my prize. You need to prove you're worthy to secure a seat at my dinner table. Money doesn't grow on trees. That's what your ex-husbands are for. I may have filed for bankruptcy, but I'm pulling myself out of the gutter. I don't have an eating disorder. I just don't like the taste of food. I would like to propose a toast. Um, are you serious, bitch? This is my house. I'm the host. I should be giving the toast. You can tell Henry's pissed when he is looking around the room with bitch face on. Victoria, darling, you better watch your step. Here's to new friends. To, to new, new friends. friends. Excuse me, candies. I've been meaning to ask you, the name Candies, what does it mean? Where does it come from? It's my name. What does it mean? It means not everyone's parent can create a thing of beauty. Candies is extremely sensitive about her ridiculous name. Victoria beware, Candice is always telling us how well connected her imaginary husband is. How do you spell your name? Is it, is it Candice with two E's or three E's? It's an odd name. I call it out and probably upset her in the process. Look, my second husband was always telling me I was too opinionated and didn't know when to stop, which is true. In our divorce, I didn't stop after getting the mansion. I didn't stop after getting his beloved yacht or the holiday house. But that's what you get for screwing the help. Gabriel clearly hadn't eaten for a while. He was going at that salad like he was on death row and it was his last meal. So, Beverly, how are you enjoying the salad? Is there something wrong with the salad? She's moving the salad all over her plate. Just eat a bitch, it's salad. It won't go to your hips. Uh, it's okay, I guess, but I actually make the same salad, but I don't do the feta because the whole dairy thing and the fat content, and I don't use these nectarines, which is so high in sugar. And the dressing? I don't include fat. I don't include sugar. I take out all the taste and I vomit it into the toilet. The day I take cooking advice from Beverly, I'd probably die of starvation. Gabriel, Candies, stop poking. Beverly, eat the damn salad. Henry is very manipulative and controlling. There are many things that he's done over the years that do not sit well with the group. His neurotic behavior has caused a breakdown of so many friendships over the years. 
And let's just say he can't afford to lose any more seats at his table. Henry seems really on edge. It's like he's trying to puppeteer the whole dinner party. But let me tell you, strings can be cut. And I'm very handy with a sharp pair of scissors. Henry, why are you being so aggressive towards Beverly? If this sickly looking girl doesn't want to eat your damn salad, then just leave it alone. You know what? I'm really over being fake polite to you now. Just keep out of it, you beast. Beast? Excuse me? Beast? How dare you? Victoria, you don't know the history. We don't want to see Aunt Beverly back in rehab for the third year running. Here we go, Candy. Is this where you casually mention how your pretend husband had to pay for Beverly's last few rehab bills? Don't even go there. I could say a thing or two about you, love. Darling, do not threaten me. I don't need to. My husband and his crew are threat enough. And he is so real. Candies, no matter how many Chanel bags you borrow, you'll never be a lady. Borrow? That's fine form coming from a hag that sleeps under a cardboard box. Liar! Don't you ever make up lies about me? Henri told me he found your GoFundMe page. It's fine. You can admit it. You are poor and homeless. Candies. Candies, that's not what I said. Do not twist my words. Have you heard the rumours about Gabriel? I've been in London. What is it? That he's poor and homeless. He started a GoFundMe page for his next fashion line. Oh. <laughs> Cheers to that. You said it. Just own it. Why can't you just own it? I can't believe I did not say that. I don't know that I didn't say that. I would never say something like that. I've never heard something like that. If I like that, I would be over it. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. That was incompetent. Excuse me. They were like a pack of wild animals. They're all talking over the top of each other. I couldn't get a word in edgewise. What the hell am I doing here? So you did say that. Uh, that's right. I didn't I'll be. That. Excuse me. It's my turn to talk now, okay? It's my turn. Now, Gabriel, you're calling out the fact that this skeletal girl here isn't keeping her food down. And Candace, you are gossiping about Gabriel's failure in fashion. Shame on you both. What? You are a gold digger. You might have been named after a queen, but you couldn't be further removed from royalty. Shame on you, poor. Oh, Candies. Save your venom. Oh, Gabriel, would you just stop staring? I, oh, you all just put me off my food. Like, I can just take the scraps and, you know, you never know where your next meal is going to come from. Hmm? Beverly, don't point your bony finger at me. I'm leaving. Beverly, just sit your bony ass down. Just go back to your cardboard mansion. Why don't you just have a piece of bread? Maybe you'll calm down a little. Victoria, stop tugging at your hair. You're getting split ends in all the shared salads. Oh, darling, go buy a brain. Why don't you buy one for me with the money you got from your third divorce settlement? Oh, how dare you? You don't know me. None of you know me! Hey darling, there are two types of people in this world. There are people that are distinguished, refined and ooze class. And then there's you, Victoria. Excuse me? Gabriel, you are a hideous human being. Victoria, the only thing that is hideous are your delusions that you belong in our company. And we all know the signs of a gold digger. Hair that has only recently known the luxury of treatments. Mannish hands. They have known a lifetime of hard labour. And uh, the weathered skin underneath all that caked on classless makeup. Excuse me, I am your guest. You fucking bitch. Face it, Victoria, it took you four husbands to buy your golden ticket into our inner circle, and you're still not good enough. You will never be money. That's it. I don't have to take this. Candies, let's go. What's for dessert?